Okay, so I'm doing this uh, project at the moment to fix uh, two front struts um, that are currently leaking um, air and it's got some other problems with the aromatic uh, system and um, so we just want to include the notes and some of the things I'm having to do to fix um, the issue. What I want to point out is this is basically the top of the strut on the driver side and uh, this side is leaking but not um, too much. I mean, uh, the test for this is to basically spray this area with uh, uh, soapy uh, water and see the um, uh, the um, bubbles build up and that tells you that the air is escaping from the system. But basically what I want to show is that the air is, is escaping from the sides. This is where the, um, the cracks are. This is a Mercedes S-Class S320 and this is uh, a W220 model. And this is quite common on these models that eventually the struts fail um, and start leaking air. So basically that's where the crack is and also a small crack just uh, uh, where the, the pipe connects. And so there's a little bit of crack here as well. So there's crack on the side. So this is basically the uh, driver side. So I'm just going to show the passenger side. Okay, so this is the uh, passenger side and uh, even though this is not leaking as much air um, there is actually a crack almost all around and uh, basically um, this side is also leaking but not as much as the driver's side. So I'll be fixing the struts and I'm going to include some information on uh, um, some of the systems inside the aromatic system and uh, how to test them and just before I do that so I've shown one Mercedes S-Class which has got these cracks on the struts so if you see these you know um, that very soon the air is going to start leaking and but what I'm going to show is uh, another S-Class with early signs of uh, um, an aromatic suspension failure um, uh, it's not as severe as this but I'm just going to include that to show you the difference. So this is S320. The second car I'm about to show you is an S500, um, but still W220 model. So I'm um, just going to pause the video and I'll resume. Okay, so this is the S500 and there is a small crack there, but there's no cracks on the side. Um, it might look like there's a crack on the camera. But there is no air leak and there's no cracks on the side. We can see an early sign of uh, uh, possible f uh, failure in the future. So there's a small crack there. This is the passenger side. I'm just going to show the uh, driver's side. And so this is the uh, driver's side. Again, no cracks on the sides. That's quite nicely sealed. But there's a small crack there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pause the video and uh, share some of the information I've learned about the system. Just to quickly point out, um, the aromatic pump, which I'm going to be showing you um, in a moment, is actually located in the bumper and that's basically on the front. If you're standing in front of the car, it's on the right hand side just behind this and the way to access it is uh, just behind this uh, plastic wall. So take the tire off and uh, jack the car. You can have access to the aromatic suspension pump and the valve. Um, the reservoir for the air is uh, stored on the other side of the bumper, which is just behind here. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll resume with further information. Okay, so now I'm at uh, back at my desk and uh, basically I'm going to resume the notes. And uh, what I've done is I've been working on this project for a couple of days and um, there's numerous things I've found and some of the research I've done. I've collected some of the notes um, in, uh, in order to be able to look at the whole information collectively and uh, find out what, what do I need to do to fix the aromatic suspension. So what I've done is, uh, first of all, I've taken the um, aromatic pump out this is the pump which is basically, um, it sits inside the bumper uh, on a metal plate and uh, just above the metal plate sits this uh, aromatic valve uh, housing 
and that is basically to distribute the air uh, from the aromatic pump to the individual struts and the um, uh, the air reservoir so so air um, tank where um, air is kept to supply to the uh, systems uh, in, in more rapidly so basically that's the uh, valve assembly and uh, the other thing I've done is I've also taken out the relay uh, which is um, on the driver side in UK um, and uh, I'll, I'll share a little bit more information about this in a minute. So some of the things that I'm going to be covering um, in these videos on how I'm fixing and some of the things that I've learned is I'm going to explain a little, uh, explain a little bit about the corrosion um, on the uh, uh, the valve assembly on the inside. Uh, some of the, some of the points to to note for those. Um, how to change the piston ring, which is basically um, this ring here, uh, inside the aromatic um, uh, air compressor, sorry, and um, this is the ring which sits on a um, piston uh, inside there, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that. I'm also going to um, share information on how to share, how to uh, test the valve assembly, which is this one here. And I'm also going to um, talk a little bit about the relay. What else have I got? Uh, testing of the aromatic pump. Yeah, so how to test the aromatic pump and see if it's functioning properly. And the last thing I'm going to do is how to fix the struts. Um, I might be replacing them, but there are a few solutions out there. And uh, I'll include all the notes and uh, I'll share what happened once I've applied the fixes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video and uh, get things ready to explain a little bit more about the um, uh, the uh, aromatic um, compressor, which is um, which is this unit here, and uh, share all the things that I've learned, and uh, resume the video again.